Hey guys, so Tara here, and I wanted to share with you my favorite productivity app, hands down. I always go back to it. All right, so here's what it's called. It is called 3030. See, it's kind of right here, 30 slash 30. So let me open it up and show you why it's awesome. So I tend to get distracted very easily. Like I'll, I'll have something, and then I'll go, oh, let me go do this, and oh, let me go do that. And I'm also notorious for coming up with random tasks when I need to do something big. Like I remember in college, whenever I had a big exam, I always had like the cleanest room because I would suddenly decide that's when I'm cleaning the room. I would usually reorganize my dorm room and all that jazz. So here's how 3030 works. So what you do is you write in your to-do list. Now this is my daily business task, just little things. And so much of what I do in my business are just really quick five minute tasks, you know? So you set it up to where here you can separate your fingers and that creates a task. But anyway, as you can see, this clock is ticking right now. Okay, and I like to stick this right in front of my computer so that I watch the clock. And that really keeps me on task so I'm not getting distracted. And it creates a slight sense of urgency. So what's nice about this is then when I'm done, I click this check mark and it immediately moves on to the next thing. Now let's say I, I wasn't quite done yet, but I was still, um, the time ran up. See the clock's ticking. You assign the time for each task. The time runs up, it just immediately moves on to the next task. It'll give you a little buzz and then you know to move on. So it really keeps you going from task to task. That's one of the things that in the productivity world, you'll hear a lot about if you read expert advice on productivity, the transition from one task to the next is, is difficult for the brain. And so we tend to pause and we tend to, you know, kind of think and that um, that's why they recommend often clumping similar tasks together, like doing all one project in a one focused period of time. However, in this case, having it move from the next task, it keeps me from having that pause and being, oh, let me go change the laundry. Oh, let me go do this. Or, oh, let me go do that. Let me check my Facebook notifications. Instead, it's forcing me to continue moving on. The another feature that I like about it is you can add it to where it tells you when you're going to be done with this list, if you follow this. So for me, you know, when I work, I know that, you know, I, I want to be done by the time I have to go pick up my son. So I just make sure that, so it, I might adjust how fast I'm working based on that. I make sure to plug in breaks. So you'll see how I have this set up is I have breaks set up to where I can just pause. Usually I like might go make the bed or I might go for a walk around the block or something. So you can do this with anything. And honestly, this is what I swore by as a mom with kids at home. My kids are, are gone ha like three hours in the morning, so it's a little easier to do very focused. But when I was at home with my kids, I liked to do 20 minutes of cleaning the house, 20 minutes of one-on-one -on -one time with them, and then 20 minutes of work of some sorts. And then I might take like a little break, like maybe a 20 minute break or something. And I just all day would go through those intervals. Now, obviously a kid might need me in, in the other intervals and I would pause. But what I found was if I focused on them one-on-one -on -one in that 20 minute time, and I also made sure that I got them connected with an activity that might occupy them, they were far less prone to need me in the other blocks of time. So that really helped out a ton. So I hope you enjoy it. It's 30 slash 30. All right, bye y'all.